right. All right, Stephen. Um, how you feeling so far? Uh, you're wrapping up OTAs and, and in the mini camp last phase. How, how's the NFL life been treating you? It's been blessed, man. I think this is an opportunity that us kids, you know, we think about since we were little. And uh, to be able to be on an NFL team is probably one of the biggest dreams that I've ever been able to accomplish. Uh, I still have a lot more to, you know, a lot more to prove and a, a long way to go. But just being here, being present every single day, is, it's a wonderful feeling. I know the NFL can be a little bit different. It's still early. You haven't put the pads on yet. But how, have you felt it different at all? from college or what you experienced so far? I'd say, yeah. I think one of the biggest differences is, um, you know, people are here to work. Like, this is a, this is more of a business rather than in college football. I felt like, you know, uh, it, it's a little bit more um, uh, learning. You know, when you get to the next level, obviously being here in the NFL, like, you know, you're coming here every single day to work, and everyone here is, your, is obviously your teammate and is your brother, but it's also your colleague, you know. So there's a lot of respect held in, within this organization where, uh, you know, we all operate a certain way, but we all hold each other accountable a certain way as well. I was talking to Coach Rosher, and he said that uh, I know everybody in the offensive line room gets a nickname. He said your nickname was Grizzly Bear. Yeah, Big Grizz. W where'd that one come from? You know, my buddies uh, up at Oregon actually gave me that one my freshman year. Uh, Shane Lemieux, he uh, he just saw me on the first day. He was like, Big Grizz. And then ever since then, my O-line coach and everyone's been calling me Big Grizz ever since. So it kind of makes sense. I mean, I'm big and look like a Grizzly Bear, so it works. I, I enjoy it. Look, I like it. As an offensive lineman, you want a, a guy that's yeah. going to go out there and maul somebody, right? Exactly, exactly. So I think it's very fitting you know being an offensive lineman like you said so you know I just appreciate the nickname you know I'll take it I'll take it what's it been like in that offensive line room with some of the veteran guys that they have here it's been crazy I think uh, being around guys like Brandon Sheriff Mitch Morris uh, Ezra Cleveland um, Walker Little Tyler Shatley especially Tyler Shatley being a, a undrafted guy like me um, he's been blessed to be able to stay at the same or organization for the last 10 years so seeing guys like them and how they work and how they go er uh, day in and day out their everyday process uh, it's very motivating because you want to, you know, you look up to guys like that, but you also want to, you know, hold the standard like they do. So, uh, I, you know, I just really like being around them. Uh, you know, they're all smart-minded people, mm -hmm. and uh, it obviously reflects when they get out here on the field. All right, next step of, the, of this is training camp is right around the corner. Then you finally get to put the pads on. Are you, like, excited for that first day where you can put the pads on for oh, the first time? Oh, yeah, I, I'm really excited. I mean, I didn't really know how OTAs was going to work, so I thought it was, you know, we're coming in with pads. But, no, they said no helmets, no pads like that. But, honestly, the way we work every single day, you know, that level of physicality is up there. So I feel like being out here has really got me ready and prepared for a training camp. But, you know, like you said, when that first day pad come on, it's going to be a really fun day. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. How's this whole process been for you? Has it felt kind of like a whirlwind? Is this next little bit going to be a chance for you to kind of take a deep breath, slow down, and, and, and kind of gather yourself? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's been a whirlwind since January. Um, you know, me and the Oregon Ducks, we played in the Fiesta Bowl on January 1st, and I started training on the 3rd or 4th of January. So my whole pre-draft NFL combine process has been since January, and this has been going and going, and it has no time of stopping right now. But, you know, I think this is just what we signed up for, and as long as you just embrace it and you you enjoy it every single moment because you have a lot of people back home that would wish that they were in your position. So, you know, some days, you know, it's kind of hard to get out of bed, but you just remind yourself, like, this is a great opportunity to be here. So it makes it a lot easier to get out of bed the next morning. So, gotcha.